3D Code also has a text tool. Now, let's rotate the view a little bit. Click on two points in the viewport, and you'll see that I have two red dots. There's a spline here, or a curve, and you can then manipulate each point on the curve. Now, if you have two points, you're going to get a little bit of popping, as you can see. So it's best to go with at least three points in the curve. So let's add in another point here. And it might look a little funky here, but it won't for long. Let's move this third point way over here. Move the first point right about here. Let's flip it so it's facing us. OK. You can do a lot of different stuff here. Now, you can manipulate each individual point, so you can get things like this going on. You can warp the, the text to follow a, an object if you need. or You can scale individual points, for instance, like this. Now let's undo that. You can change the font. Currently, I have Calibri. Let's change it to Cambria. Okay. You can change the text that's in here. By default, it says some text. I currently have 3D coat in there. You can flip the spline, as I demonstrated. You can change the thickness, something a little smaller or larger. And then you can also add rotations to each individual point on the spline. You can also apply any edit to the whole curve. So now I'm rotating the whole curve. Now if you edit with the gizmo here, that too will apply to the whole curve or spline. That includes translation and, and, the, uh, and scaling. Excuse me. Now there are a couple of things up here too. You can reset the scale. You can reset any rotations. You can even add Let's click on that spline, or that point in the spline. You can change the hardness. Oh, I just scaled it down on accident. OK, let's zoom in. Click on that point in the spline, and change the hardness. Now it goes to a harder point there, as you can tell. You can also make it a closed spline, so it'll rotate around the curve. And you can also delete individual points. And as I said earlier, the whole curve. So that's that.